Hey y'all, this is Anna Alexander. Welcome back to the bedroom as I am returning to the high seas. This is season three, episode one of Black Sails, and that was a mother truck and humdinger of a season two finale. It was. Okay, so I'm gonna take a moment because these are the things I wish I had said in the last reaction, but I didn't because the storytellers and the creators and the people that worked on this production were so good at this job. I lost track of what was happening and this is what I mean by that. I was so sucked into the story and what was happening that my brain forgot that it was a show and it was so beautifully and wonderfully put together. They raised a town. Charleston was gone. They had cannon fire and they had explosions and we had smoke and we had sword fighting and people fleeing and bleh, and and swashbuckling and and then we had like one shot like run along shots where we had you know we followed Vane and Flint into the alleyway and watched them and then came out with the camera and and then and then we were on a ship and the ship was having fighting and melee and and John was being tortured and he was losing his leg as Flint yells fire and blah, blah, blah. and then we had these sweeping backgrounds and ships sinking in the harbor. It was crazy and it was all done so that I wasn't going, oh wow, look at that special effect. Later, I can go, wow, that was done really well. But it was done so well. And I just want to take a moment and say thank you for putting that much attention and effort. Because on this show, very much often, I forget that they are actors. And that they are not pirates on a real ship pirating crew. Because they are pulling equipment and raising sails and, and, and whatnot so effortlessly, it appears... I forget it's not real. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And now we have a you somewhat united, tenuously, I would say, front, pirate front. Britain, mucking you. And Eleanor's still gone. Max, Max and Jack and Anne have the gold. I would not have brought it all back. I would have hidden... They took a second, they, they f spent time to fix the walrus to load it with goods. So now you have two ships you have to protect. I, I would have been more sneaky. I would have been more, way more sneaky about it. That's just me. That's just me. And that's the thing about these shows. I often forget they're going to make their own choices and not what I would do. And that's what drives me insane. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna dive right in. I've been working on a Washington apple. It's slightly chilly, so I was able to bust out the big cozy blanket again. Don't forget, you can watch the whole episode with me on Patreon, where I would love to see you. And if not, at least hit a subscribe or a like. You know all the things that help out the channel because I appreciate it very much. Okay, y'all. I don't know what I'm saying anymore because I don't know what we're getting into. But uh, yeah, let's go. Well, anchors are being. Wait, what's <laughs> dropped? Drop! Anchors are being dropped. What year? Do any of these people look familiar to me? Not off the top of my head. They're all starting to look the same kind of sort of. <laughs> Wow, he's got a desk with his back to the door. You're Drummond. Mary's your wife. Mary's our sister. Okay. We came from Williamsburg to make sure that you honored your vows to her. There's some place I have to be. You are coming with us. So they just let these guys on the ship to threaten their captain. Okay. I explained all this to Mary, who told me she understood and that she would not protest our separation. Are you calling my sister a liar? Well, you're here. 
I can think of at least three lies she must have told you to bring that about. But what she likely did not mention is that that trade was high seas piracy. Second, she told you my name was Drummond. Mm-hmm. I was called Teach. Oh, gotcha. She clearly Ooh. led you to believe that you could point your sword in my direction and survive the experience. So why did Mary marry him? And why did he marry Mary? Wow. <laughs> Nassar awaits. Let us away. I have questions. <laughs> I'll wait and see if they're necessary to ask later. Because <laughs> I'm, if I'm thinking that's the, the only reason is so that we can introduce Blackbeard, I'm thinking that's where they came up with to introduce Blackbeard. This scenario. <laughs> Oh, dude, you should have shot sooner. Oh, indiscriminately just burning shit down. So I think if I were a pirate, I might do the sword firearm combo. Just because that does give you a second, psh, boom, and then swashbuckle. <laughs> Is this the governor? Wait. Oh, Flint. It says Hornigold. You are the magistrate here. Oh, it's been some time. Their magistrates hanged men for piracy. They all receive visits from me. Any capital sentence served against a pirate would hear my answer. And yet you chose to hang those three men in your square. And, and you must have heard that Flint raised Charleston to the ground. Review prevent me from enforcing the law and civilization in this place is dead. I also know that most of those other magistrates you visited, they were corrupt men. I wagered that despite all I'd heard about you, that you could tell the difference, that you could see I was an honest man. Wow, and Flint got his guys like organized. They are costumed and everything. And he killed her too. Even what happened to happen to Miranda, he killed her too. What? Yeah, dude. He is a man. A man. A man without. Wow, John, this is the, the limb they, okay. It's fucking, is it done? It's been a while. Every man to charge. It looks like we got How long has it been? I need to know. Yeah, the men did well with the circumstances. Not all of them. Lost his nerve. I want him replaced on the Vanguard before we go over the side again. He's getting worse. How long has it been? I'm sure of it. We just faced a band of colonial regulars out there. He's entitled to a mood. Yep, me to start a question. How long has it been? And what up with the gold? What has happened with the gold? It's uh, right where she's supposed to be. 
Wait, isn't that Jack's quartermaster? His men are jumping ship. They aren't his men. There's cargo. When Jack asked me to hunt her, he said she was hauling timber. He said the supplies were badly needed for fort repairs. Funny. I don't remember him saying anything about slaves. And Jack asked Vane to hunt. I'm my lobby. What you guys? It feels as if we're being dumped into a whole new series. And I'm re-acclimating myself to what the hell is happening? <laughs> he just fills the doorway. You know who I am. What you cannot know is where I come from. What I once was. If you knew that, I imagine you would have made different choices today. Miss Guthrie, do you have anything to say in your defense? The full sentence is pronounced. I have but one regret. <laughs> Miss Guthrie. This must seem in such poor taste to you. Yes. I assume this is your production. Yes. And countless other crimes. For which the sentence is death. Mm hmm. But did she die? Any news from London? The trial is set to begin sometime next week. They haven't even had the trial yet. Do you believe there is any way she will be offered some sort of clemency? I would think there is always a chance for mercy for one willing to beg for it. In return for what? What is it I can do for you? When Captains Flint and Racker made their pact those months ago, settled their differences over the possession of the Urgo Gold, they asked me to oversee the restoration of the fort. But without the men to do the work, there is no progress. The fort remains compromised and we are all exposed. Give him a break. It's been two weeks. And the British Navy doesn't give a fuck. He assured everyone he would be responsible for restoring the fort. The street comes to me with the problems it cannot solve for itself, and right now Jack is first among them. So did like Flint and Vane arrive on shore and went, Jack, we will, you don't know what we went through. We will kick your ass. <laughs> wow, there's lots of merriment at NASA in multiple places. Ah, starting off another season with Jack. On the toilet. <laughs> Thank you, Celeste. I have no notes. <laughs> it's been two weeks. What are you waiting for? I'm working on it. Are you? I need to know. Do you need to know? Or does your husband? You know I hate it when you call me. Of course I do. That's why I call her that. Hmm. Said on the list of people on this island who are most concerned with seeing that fort restored, there is everyone else, and then there is one name. It's, it's way at the top of it. Jack, Jack Rackham. Rackham yeah. Jack Rackham, exactly. Look, I'm just asking you to tell me what the plan is. Jack! Ah. You're about to find out. He is not going to get slaves to rebuild the fort, is he? So what ship is this that they are on? I don't know if I'd sneak up on Flint. <laughs> Reassign Mr. Dobbs off the Vanguard, as you asked. But now that that's sorted, there is another replacement on the Vanguard that we should discuss. Who's that? You. Yes. I understand we faced colonial regulars out there last night. Every time you go ashore, there is a risk you don't return. A risk NASA loses its most recognizable figure, and a risk that would seem to be escalating. I was wondering why that was important. 
Flint is a figurehead. We've been assigned responsibility for raids we were nowhere near. Jesus, I've been given credit for having been a part of some of them. They are so terrified of you, they're terrified of me. Are they now? But I am talking about letting someone else stand in and play your role now and Thank again. Thank you for your concern. This crew has spilled a great deal of blood to make your name what it is. It doesn't belong to you. It's a jointly <gasps> held asset belonging to every man on this crew who sacrificed some part of himself to build it. I have questions. Wait a minute. And I understand the burden of playing the role you currently play must be taking a toll even you cannot fully comprehend. Stop. What is now you have giving your way into the heads of the man? John the and they've granted you over them because of it. To speak but in my head. To flint this way. You're not welcome. I need to know what has happened over the last several months, cause John John. The wound should have been far further along towards quietening itself. Less than ideal. Less than ideal. Who's got the wound? <sighs> John, his leg's not healing. Unless you remove some of the pressure, the wound will only continue to get more irritated. If the decay progresses, I'll have to remove more of your leg. That went so well the first time. They didn't. They just didn't take Randall's leg and went without do some cleaning. You couldn't figure out how to repair the phone, so you lured me into capturing a ship full of slaves to do the job. That was the plan. The we'd had in weeks. I needed someone who I could be certain would win her. So you lied to me about it. Him. What the fuck made you think I would just hand them over to you, knowing Him. what you know of me? Him. We agreed you would hire men to restore it. I tried that. Then you're going to need to try harder. How? Give them more money. Do the work. Do you know what they say? You can afford more. We want double that. All right, double it. It's a deal. Fuck it. Do you know what they say? Then you can't tell us what to do. We're free men. We'll work when we please. Would you like to take a guess how that is going? I stood between you and him, Jack. When Flint was ready to wage war against you over the gold, I was the one who said you would manage it as well as anyone could. Why? Mm. Why did you stand behind me in that moment? I'll tell you why, because you and I have been through enough shit for you to know that I would do the same for you, that I have done the same for you, and would again, without hesitation. I knew this would be difficult for you, so I kept it from you. Please know that I meant no slight by it. No lack of respect or friendship. Hi. Mm. 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 And that great big huge ass ocean, you still come across other ships. Even Hallandale isn't stupid enough to leave a ship like that behind. He could have sailed it back to Nassau with a few dozen men. Mm. Less. <laughs> Why are we going closer? See what's what? a second, I thought that was a what if they're in bigger. Stress? Or diseased. Also, our course to close with her. Bear away to port. Port your hell. Oh, John decided that. Ha <laughs> That storm in the southwest isn't dying away. When we dawdle, we'll find ourselves right in the middle of it. And there's a good chance that that ship we're about to approach is quiet because all its men are below deck with a plague. Mm-hmm. Got you to try to talk them out of this. Yeah. These days, any man who can sell a black flag and get ten fools to follow him can take a prize. They can take it because of the fear that I and men like me have instilled in their prey. But they can't do what I can do. Any fool who followed Hallandale deserves whatever end they got in his company. The strong among us must stand together and face it. But the fools and the pretenders, they were never truly among us to begin with. Oh, we're weeding people out now. It's a trap. Oh, you're actually going to get close enough. Longbows are gone. 
Oh. Looks like we just up and left her here. Well, don't bring her closer. Sweep the hold. Before the captain goes across, just in case there's... Oh, he's gonna go. He's... He's he's gonna he's gonna go. Even though there may be sickness and disease. So is John Is Flint making a point to, to John that this is your decision and if we're injured it's your fault? Oh jeez, and they're going down. They're going down. But the rats are doing well. Interesting. I do not like this. So he did that to him. So they did that to him? Trap. Someone get me a glass. Seawater. Bastard went mad. We need to get out of here. Booby trap. We got all the money in the world. Maybe we could find a room that ain't in the middle of a whorehouse. <laughs> Is Mrs. Barlow's cottage available? I am the one they come to here when they need things, want things, fear things. In another time, in another place, they would call me a queen. And none of it is real. Why am real about it? Because it is built upon things I cannot control. And when the day comes when that foundation shifts, when civilization returns, do you know what they would call me then? A whore with money? Or a whore who had money? The whore that lost everything. I like it in this room. Reminds me that nothing has changed yet. In a month, the fort will be home. Mm, it's so by slave labor. Has it not occurred to anyone that if Jack has not been able to persuade men to repair the fort, it is even less likely he will be able to persuade them to defend it? Hmm, that is a thought. The gold must be removed from the fort whether Jack wants it or not. You're getting awful close to doing the one thing you said you never do. Which is what? Don't ask me to take sides between you and him. I don't think she was, and I was just telling you it's how it's gonna be. There's no other place to put it and secure it. Not in its current form, no. She gonna melt it down? Oh, they're heaving. Whoever that is out there, he has us. Bullshit. That man has a goddamn answer for everything. He's working on an answer for this. Hmm. This is a lot of choreography. Oh, they're on the walrus again. So Vane got the the men of war. And the frames with them. He does know who he's speaking with, right? There'll be no oh. battle today. <gasps> what? The disadvantage is too great. So you're gonna trick him? To beg forgiveness from a thing that took my woman from me. I can walk away from this fight if I just... Sign my name beneath a solemn oath, never again to do violence against it. 
Not after all it has taken from me. Not after all it has taken from you. Great violence against that thing. They say they will pardon us all. But I say, to offer to pardon something one fears is the act of a coward. Oh, this is quite the pep talk. He's gonna get the Groot on his head with this. This war isn't nearly over. We're getting the lip twitch. We're not fighting. And we're not surrendering. So what are we doing? Lying in wait. We're going that way. Into the storm. That's a ship killer. Then he'd be mad to follow us into it, then, wouldn't he? No! First to go! She's to go! Fuck the boy! Can you fire back in the meantime? Bring us hard to port, make a cost to pursue her. <gasps> Into the storm. It isn't just him. What? Oh. <laughs> Captain Hume said it took him every ounce of leverage he could muster to secure just ten pardons. And now Warner Gold holds eighty of them. Hmm. Maybe they are getting nervous. Or maybe someone else secured them for him. There's someone larger than Hume or the gold. Something else is coming. We're playing chess again, and I don't think I'm prepared. Oh, Elizabeth. Not Elizabeth, Eleanor. I think. <laughs> so you can imagine how difficult it was for me to arrange it so that I could say... I am the one who set her free. Who the fuck are you? Guess who are you, sir? My name is Woods Rogers. And I am the next governor of New Providence Island. That is where you come in. But the one element I lack is knowledge. Someone who understands NASA and can help me know what I'm going to find there. If you agree to be that person for me, your sentence will be commuted and the charges against you released. And what would you ask of me? I understand it is an uncomfortable... He wants to marry her. ...feeling like you're betraying people you've known so closely. Specifically, what would I have to do? A list. <gasps> the names of those on the island who could be made allies. Oh, that's very... We don't even know who's on the island anymore. Oh, she's doing it already. She is folding already. However, I don't think she can have a list of people who would I want to civilize NASA. Stay. I think she knows. I mean, uh, that is the only name you need to concern yourself. There's at least two. Well, three if you count Jack, but at least three. Or Max. As long as he is alive, you cannot succeed. I don't even know if I made a sentence then. <laughs> oh, and he has to watch the slaves work. Your slaves are making progress. Your slaves. If there were any other way. Jack, if I thought it gave you any pleasure, I'd have killed you the moment you suggested it. You don't have to be here, you know. I have made it clear to all involved they are to be treated fairly. You think if you refrain from beating them, it's any better? Are they gonna pay them? You know what those men fear right now? It's the unknown. But I remember that fear. Right now, I feel it returning. Hmm. Sitting on Spain's gold on England's island. Demands a response. What form it will take. What face it will wear. By the time we do know it, there will be no time to prepare for the blow that follows. Lots of shot of feet in this episode. Boots, I should say more specifically. I wonder if you can help me locate an old friend of mine. 
His name is Charles Vane. Hmm. Everyone's so bearded and grungy. I thought that was Ray Stevenson's <laughs> voice. Oh, man. So when we do a time jump, it does pose an interesting question. How much do we need to have seen of that time jump? And how much can we just let it go? I, I would want to have seen the conversation between Vane and Flint and, and Jack and how they were able to settle things, who was promised whose bits of gold and Flint just becoming a assassination machine. But it, it does appear that money, while helpful, does not solve everything. It can create its own problems. It's not protected. The island's not protected. So, okay. Bling, bling, bling. Thoughts. What's his name? Wood. Wood Woods. Who's now this new governor of New Province. Province Town. Or is that what he said? Or Providence Island. Is that Nassau? What island is he speaking of? So, <laughs> England's like, well, it's still ours. It needs a governor because Guthrie was shanked. So now you are new, the new governor. And he said, well, I need somebody to help me figure out how to take it back. So we're going to need the person we're having on trial for piracy. She's coming with. And you know it's more than just a name. It's more than just a name. It's going to be several names. Do I need to know how the island functions and how it's making money and keeping itself sustainable with, with goods and services and food? It's not the prettiest part of storytelling, but it is the part of world building, and I start thinking about it. <laughs> How are they surviving? Who do they care? Apparently, the fact that the British Navy could come at any moment and decimate them, they don't care? What Flint did with Charles done in one ship it couldn't happen to them. And their town's not built as nicely as Charlestown was. Doesn't seem as sturdy as Charlestown was. But we are laying more chess pieces. The game is now us against the Brits. Who wins in the end? And then we got introduced to Blackbeard at the very beginning. He pops up to the very, very end. What does Edward teach? What does Edward teach bring to the pirate game? Guess we'll just have to watch more to find out. <laughs> but there we go. See season three premiere of Black Sails. We have half the story more to go. So do not be strangers. Hit subscribe if you haven't already. So you know when the next video drops in the queue. And until next time, this is my reminder to have you stand up. Walk around the room for a little bit. Refill your liquid. As you can tell, my voice is going. So I'm going to get some water. And then come back and watch the next video in the queue. So thanks again, y'all. And until next time.